In this video we're going to learn how to import custom samples into the NN19. I have just created a fresh NN19 and I haven't loaded any type of patch. Therefore I have no sound. Let us observe that we have two types of browsing buttons. Browse patch button and the browse sample button. The difference between these two is important. When you're loading a patch, you're loading a file that will automatically load a series of samples already mapped and with the sound modifiers with already certain values. For example, the piano. We're going to explore some other few sounds. Let's browse for a few patches. How about some strings? Cello. Double bass. Double bass percussive. As you can see, you have a lot of very realistic sounds that sound beautiful. Let's try a few organs now. Number two. Let's click on OK. I have opened my Organ 2 patch. I'm going to control click over the NN19 and select the following command initialize patch. So I reset it. I don't have any type of sound loaded in and I'm going to load the custom sample. Instead of browsing for a patch, like a prepared organ, I'm going to browse for audio files. Sample browser. These are all the types of audio files that I can load into the NN19. I'm going to use some audio files from my Some Samples folder that are not included in the recent factory sound bank. Let's go for the effects and miscellaneous spoken voice. It was the bell. The bell. I'm going to click on OK. Now can you see the C key right here? C3 is highlight. That's the key that is going to trigger my sample at its original pitch and speed. It was the bell. The bell. If I play my keys higher and lower, the pitch and speed of the sample is going to be transposed. It was the bell. It was the bell. It was the bell. So that's basically how you load a single sample into the NN19. Now let's suppose I want to load two or three more samples and assign them to different keys. For that I need to create zones here. You can create them by control clicking and selecting split key zone, now you have two different zones, or you can also split the key zones by clicking above the key zone bar while holding the option key. So now here I have a few key zones. Notice that if I click in these key zones, the parameters change. For example, the low key and high key of the key zones. And here my first key zones, I have the bell sample. <laughs> And the following key zones are empty. So I'm going to assign different samples to those empty key zones. I'm going to click again on my browse sample. And now I'm going to select I have powers that equal and surpass the powers of Gore. These three samples by shift clicking. I'm going to click on OK. And now my first sound 
I have the sample of the bells by using this root key knob I can retune it so it won't sound so low now Where's the bell? It was the bell My follow key zone has this other sample called strength You must find strength You must you must I can adjust the boundaries of my key zones if I want. The next key zone has no sample assigned. Now, by clicking and turning this knob, I can browse to the samplers that I have loaded into memory. The other one I have to go is this one, the nuclear device. It's a nuclear device. Rookie bottom to repeat it. It's a nuclear device. It's a nuclear device. And that's how you keep loading samples and assigning them to your keyboard layout. Once you're done, I recommend you to save your patch in my desktop so I can recall it later into other recent songs. Now, these were custom samples, meaning that they were not part of the recent factory sound bank. Remember, to embed custom samples in your song, you have to use the song self contained settings command. And here, check all the sounds that are foreign and click on OK. Now you save your song. Now you save your song. Now those samples are going to be embedded on my recent song. This is the NN19, a very useful tool to either play very realistic sounds that are part of the recent library or to put together your own instruments or bank of sounds that you can trigger with your MIDI keyboard.